good morning or well, not really morning it's like four o'clock in the afternoon but it is monday and as promised i'm gonna try to attempt to do weekly vlogs yet again today was kind of a wash though because i've been working really hard on youtube stuff today as you can tell i'm wearing my favorite summer wig right now because I did some filming this morning for Caloris de Carol. I finally got that neon set reviewed. I edited that this morning and I was able to get it upload and it's like 4.17 right now and that schedule to go out in like 20 minutes or 10 minutes. So I'm really, really happy about that. It's a gorgeous day today. It started out a little bit muggy and nasty and overcast, but then like it cleared up and now it's gorgeous and sunny and not too hot. So we went to the park and we got shakes on the way home because you know, mama likes her shakes. Um, and Milo had never had one before, so he was like really excited to try one and he loves them. But I did want to inform you that I do have several uh, packages that came in today. So let's go see what came in my mailbox. I'm excited. Okay, so ignore the cartoons that we hear in the other room. Milo's watching some cartoons because he was really hot after playing at the park. Um, but I have three orders that came in today. Well. One of them's an order, two of them are for Polish Pickup. So I have two packages from Polish Pickup. I've got Rise and Shine Cosmetics and Top Shelf Lacquer, their contributions for August. And then I have my 88 Beauty Pickup or my 88 Beauty order that I made Friday. Was it when I saw the, um, when Phoebe, no it wasn't Friday, was it Thursday? Maybe it was Thursday. When Phoebe posted her um, Instagram stories about the, China Glaze Halloween, it's gonna be in here. So let's do Polish Pickup first and then we'll do Halloween. Um, so this first one is Top Shelf Lacquer. She always gives me little Werther's candies, which is so cute. Chaz loves these, so these will be saved for him. It was so funny, the last time I got a package from Top Shelf, um, <laughs> Um, Milo tried one of these and then Chaz is like, oh, you'll like it. It's so good. It's delicious. He gives it to Milo. Milo puts it in his mouth and he like sucks on it for like two seconds. He's like, no, thank you. And he spits it in the garbage. <laughs> Chaz was really upset. So I will save these for Chaz because he loves these. Um, so top shelf. Let's see what Amy has given for August. Urgh, strong. Okay, <gasps> I can see it through the bubble wrap and I'm already in love. Oh, <gasps> this is gorgeous. This is called Your Hair Deflated. So I'm gonna guess that's either from Hairspray or the musical Hair, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna side with Hairspray. I'm pretty sure this is from Hairspray, but it is like a teal multi-chrome. Can you see this? Yeah, you can see that. See how it's got like that super shifty mermaid multi-chrome base? And then there's like some multi-chrome flakies in there and some hollow. <gasps> this one's really pretty. All right, and then next is Rise and Shine. I'm gonna pull this down here so we don't see my address. Let's see what Rise and Shine has to offer. I'm really excited. Okay, Rise and Shine. This is called Pie Crust Promise. As Mary Poppins said, easily made, easily broken. Uh -huh, okay, all right. So obviously it's based on Mary Poppins. Description, this Crelly polish has a purple base with a beautiful red shimmer and purple flakies. Ooh, I'm excited. I can't get it out of the bubble wrap. It's like stuck. Hold on. Trapped. It's trapped. Well, I'm really, okay, we're just gonna tear into it. Okay, here we go. Ooh. All right, not exactly what I was imagining, but pretty. So it is a purple Crelly. There is a really strong red shimmer in there. You can see that red shimmer, 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 shimmer. You can see that red shimmer for days. I'm not seeing any flakies though. I don't see any flakies in here. Maybe they're like micro flakies. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice, very nice. Okay, next, 
finally, the last thing we have to open is my order from 88 Beauty, which was a little bit weird because they didn't, and I don't know if this is a new thing that they do on 88 Beauty. It's definitely not what they do on Trans Design. And I usually shop more on Trans Design than 88 Beauty, but they didn't give me a quota for shipping until after I placed my order, which is a little bit weird. So I kind of paid for everything, before knowing how much shipping was gonna cost. And I gauged it was going to be about $13 and it ended up being $12 or $11, which I think is not bad. But it was just a little bit shady that I don't know how much shipping is gonna cost before I pay for it. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna go back to 88 Beauty. Um, I just really prefer Trans Design. They're not as quick about getting stuff though. Um, and so maybe the more you use 88, maybe the better chance you have of gauging how much shipping is gonna be. But I kinda wish they would give you a better, like they would give you a quote on how much shipping is gonna be. That way you're not surprised when your like invoice comes in later or when the money's already taken out of your account. Like, I don't know, I think it's a little bit, a little bit shady. I did end up getting the entire Halloween collection and then I picked up four, three, three from the fall collection. So let's see what I have first. <gasps> Yay, this one is Autumn I Need That. And this is from the fall collection. This one's gonna be a little bit tricky to see. Next I have Central Parka, which is the Dusty Olive Green. Pay it fashion forward. And this is an eggplanty purple with a ton of beautiful like magenta gold shifting shimmer inside of it. And then these six are the Halloween collection which i'm so excited so this first one is mally boo boo adorable and it is a black holographic which you can kind of see on camera called night and slay <gasps> look at that hollow glitter isn't that beautiful from what phoebe swatched this one looked like it was definitely going to be a topper this next one is pret a potion so it looks like it's just a black cream but in actuality it is a clear base very finely milled black matte glitter topper this one is the one that i love the name of the most this one's called shadies and gentlemen and it's just a black matte uh, cream. This next one is Wicked Liquid, which, I mean, just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that flash in like an olive green gold base. Oh. And then the last one is Ash and Burn. Oh, look at that. And those were all the purchases I had, or at least the mail that came in today. Um, not a whole lot of people contacted me about Polish Pickup this month, so I'm not quite sure how much I'll have to swatch. But obviously, I'm grateful for anything that's given to me for pickup, and so we'll use whatever's given. I might not pick up the camera again for the rest of the night because Chaz needs to go grocery shopping, which means I have bedtime duty tonight. Um, so if I do pick up the camera, it'll be like super, super late. So I don't think that's gonna happen. But either way, I will definitely check in with you guys tomorrow for sure. Um, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow and I don't foresee myself getting a whole lot of like YouTube stuff done because I'll be at the doctor's. I have to do an ultrasound, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. I feel like I need to do something. I need to take this wig off. That's what I need to do. It's like so itchy. Anyway, I'm gonna go. If I don't see you later tonight, I will definitely see you tomorrow. 27 week belly! Yeah, yeah! Looking good. So you know how you have those days where you get up in the morning <clears throat> and you do a couple of things and before you know it, the day is over? <laughs> that was yesterday for me. Yesterday just flew by. I, 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 it was gone. It was gone and I never picked up the camera and it was just insane. So let's just sum up what happened on Tuesday. I had a doctor's appointment first thing in the morning. Long story short, when I went in for my 20 week ultrasound, they had difficulty measuring the kidneys. And so I had to go back um, and get another ultrasound done to check the kidneys. And my placenta apparently was not problematic, but they just wanted to get some further uh, numbers and whatnot. But the baby was also being very problematic and was not performing nicely. So I was there for like, an hour and 15 minutes as they were trying to like get the right measurements for the placenta and the kidneys. They just, they couldn't, for whatever reason, the way the baby was like curled up, they just couldn't get a good reading. 
and I'm like about to die because I'm sure those of you that have done ultrasounds before, you know the pain I was in. <laughs> so for if you've never done an ultrasound, you have to drink like 64 ounces or like 34 ounces. It's an insane amount of water before you go. It's like four cups of water before you have your appointment. So it's like an hour before you need to drink like four glasses of water and then you're not allowed to go to the bathroom at all. Um, and so here I am like floating away because I am so full and plus I'm pregnant. So it's like times like 10, the urgency of like, I need to go to the bathroom right now. They were really nice though. And they let me like go a little bit there, but they're like, don't empty your bladder out all the way. So <laughs> I mean, maybe to TMI, but they gave me like a little Dixie cup and they're like, pee into this cup, fill up this cup and then stop. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> they made me do that like three times. Um, and continue to drink more water because they needed to like keep the bladder like full. It was insane, but they got what they needed. Little baby's doing great. Everything looks fine. Uh, it just took a lot longer than I thought. By that point, it was time to almost pick up Milo from his park summer camp park thing. But I did have time to upload the vlog, um, which was so well received. I am so just happy and just so grateful for you guys that like you are interested and that you care and like I just I love it I love it so much I'm just so grateful for all the support and love and also like the congratulations and stuff you guys are just amazing like I'm just so thankful and grateful that I have people to turn to for fun and exciting news just I'm just so grateful basically what I'm saying is I'm just so grateful for you guys and I love you all so much and I'm like super hormonal right now so I'm trying not to cry but it's just it means the world to me it means the absolute world to me got up this morning and like the day had already started like it was gone not really but like it was like hoofing it so I had to drop Milo off at his summer camp and then I needed to gather up some nail polish to take to Chaz's work, <laughs> I know that doesn't make any sense, but it, it'll make sense in a minute, because this week is the like youth camp, the girls camp for our church. Every year, um, our church has like a girls only camp week. Um, normally leaders such as myself are supposed to go, but clearly in my current condition, I'm not going um, because no, <laughs> I would go if I wasn't to be honest, but like, no, I need my comfort. I need my coolness. Like I don't want to be sweaty and I don't want to be covered in bugs. Like, no, I'm going to be in my basement painting my nails, <laughs> but they wanted to do nail polish. They wanted to paint their nails. Um, and so I grabbed together some polishes, mostly my de-stash stuff. Like I don't, I normally don't lend out my nail polish because I'm kind of overprotective of it. Um, you just don't know, you never know. And some of my babies are very precious and some of my babies are like collectibles and some of my babies are just very important to me. So normally my nail polish does not leave my house. Um, I'm perfectly fine with people coming in and using it and like, you know, whatever, but it never leaves my home unless I'm going with it. Since I'm not going, I decided to grab my de-stash polishes and send those with one of the leaders. That way she can take them and they can do their nails. And, and I'm not too upset if nothing doesn't come back, like if certain polishes don't return because they're all de-stashed anyway. So I gathered up some polishes, took them to Chaz's work because her husband works at the same place that Chaz does. So her husband was gonna pick it up and then he was gonna take it off. Like, you know, it all makes sense. And now it's like 10, 15, I just had breakfast. It was delicious. It was lactose-free Yoplait yogurt. I love this stuff and granola and um, blueberries had a little parfait. It was delicious. And now I get to decide what I'm going to do with my morning. So first thought is I really want to record a haul. I'm probably going to do a two-parter because it'll be like over an hour long if I do it all in one go. So I want to film that today. Um, so I need to go get ready. I need to go put on my face and I need to slap on my favorite summer wig and uh, gather up all the polish too, because it's like kind of all around the house. Um, so that's gonna be my morning and uh, I'm pretty excited. It's gonna be a good day. I'm feeling really good this morning. So what a difference a wig makes, huh? Oh, I love this wig so much. It is probably my favorite one out of all the wigs that I have. Let me know if you're interested in seeing a wig tour because I think I have like six or seven now. 
I love them. I love them all. But I think this one is definitely my favorite. Like, I love the cut of it. I love the curl. Like, it's just perfect. I know it's kind of hard to see the length because of my black t-shirt, but it's basically shoulder length. It's the one I'm wearing in basically every single nail polish video because I just, I love it. I love it so much. Don't get me wrong. I love the long ones too that I have, but they're so hot to wear in the summer. This is just my favorite. Ugh. I believe the brand is Newborn Free wig. I think that's the brand. And it's like MLC 150 or something like that. But I will link it down below. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, anyway, so we are going to get ready for a video and I thought I could show you the things that I use on my face when I get ready for videos. So I've already washed my face. I already put on like some moisturizer slash sunscreen. I like to use the Neutrogena Hydra Boost uh, sunscreen face moisturizer. Um, and then um, I've been using lately Maybelline's Better Skin Foundation. So I'm gonna put this on my face. Sometimes I need to mix it in with a little bit of uh, a lighter shade. This is an Alme uh, foundation. And the only reason I have Alme is because it's like super yellow, which is what I need because I have really strong yellow undertones to my skin. And um, when I went to the drugstore trying to find some foundation that had strong yellow t undertones. I basically grabbed every single light shade they had and I lined them all up together to compare them all. And um, I basically grabbed the one that looked the most yellow <laughs> and that was Almay. Now that that's done, we're gonna do some concealer. The one I've been using a lot lately because of the deep complexion that I get in the summer. Just kidding, it's really not that tan, but it is darker than I normally am. Um, I like to use the Maybelline Fit Me in 20, which is sand. And I don't like to go too heavy with concealer, even though I need a lot of it, because um, mama's getting old. <laughs> mama's got fine lines. Mama's got wrinkles under her eyes. And I've noticed that like, I can't do the concealer routines that all these beauty gurus do. Um, with like the baking and like the layers of concealer where you do the color correcting and then you put on the concealer and then you bake it like I can't do that because if I do like it just ma magnifies all of my wrinkles I just put on concealer and I leave it at that because if I do anything more than that like it's like dry as a desert under there then we do bronzer I really love the butter bronzer from physicians formula mainly because I like the way it smells and um, also the shade is really, really nice. It works really nicely. I just love the way it smells. It works really nicely on my skin because um, I am slightly fair. Even in the summer when I tan, um, I just like it that it's like kind of the perfect kind of shade for me. My wig is starting to slip. I need to get one of those wig grips. My slippage is insane. Like it just slides so easily. I need some pins. I mean, that could be a sign that like the cap doesn't quite fit me so well. Um, but it, it really truly does slide quite a bit. So I'm gonna have to like pin it down here. So I really should get one of those wig grips which help keep your wigs on your head. See, but now you can see like the pins. Okay, well, we'll worry about the hair later. Normally I don't do blush because I get super rosy cheeked, so I don't really need it. But when I do need it, I like to use the True Match. This is L'Oreal um, in their warm tone or whatever. And this is a uh, three, four, warm three, four. I don't, I don't know. I do not use fancy things. Just whatever's available at the drugstore. Let's do some highlight. Favorite highlighter, again, I don't use fancy, is Physician's Formula. Candy Johnson mentioned it once, maybe twice in one of her videos. I'm like, okay, that works for me. <laughs> Pretty inexpensive. It's not like the flash ba bam like oh my goodness I can see my reflection in your like highlight kind of highlighter, but it does the job. I don't think I'm not one of those who needs like the super like I can see your highlight um, kind of thing. Like I don't really need that. This does the job for me. Uh, Anastasia Dip Brow. This is probably the most expensive. Well, that and like my eyeshadow. Probably the only thing I've really spent a significant amount of money on. Um, because this stuff is amazing. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't smudge. And like, even if you sweat, which I sweat a lot, it doesn't go anywhere, which is amazing. Let's just, hold on. I'll be back in a minute. Brows are done. Let's do some eye makeup. I'm going to use the new, uh, pop color pop fortune palette. Let's go in first with a uh, cream up here. It's kind of a shimmery, like, uh, 
nude color. I am not a, a make makeup person. I, uh, or at least like instructional, like you should follow what I do because I know what I'm talking about. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, when I first started my channel, which I think I've talked about before in various vlogs, but not this one, obviously. I had visions of being a beauty guru. And I'm like, oh, I could review makeup and I could do makeup things. And then I actually started making makeup videos and I'm like, I'm really bad at this. And so I stopped and transitioned to nail polish, which I'm sure we're all grateful for and all very, very thankful for. Um, because like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm obviously not trained and uh, <laughs> just kind of slap things on my face and then cover it up with glasses. So it's all good. Now we're gonna do some color, some color. I'm kind of leaning, kind of leaning towards jackpot right here. And I'm kind of putting it in my crease up here. Ooh, this is so pretty. <gasps> I love it. Oh, this color. Now I'm gonna throw in a little bit of a darker tone, uh, Trove, which is this like eggplant purple. We're just gonna put just a little bit of that right here in the crease. And then my camera decided to overheat. So I went ahead and finished up. I think when we last left off, I was just finishing up the eyes. So I used my NYX liquid matte liner for the wing, which I love doing a nice good wing. Um, I also used for mascara, I did a combination of the Revlon Mega Multiplier, and then I layered on top of it the Ultra Volume. I don't know if they still sell this one. I tried to find it at Target the other day, and I couldn't find it. So maybe this is discontinued. I have no idea, or maybe they've repackaged it. Who knows? But um, I mixed both of these together to do the lashes. And then for lips, I did a lip pencil. This is uh, Rimmel Lip Liner in Addiction. And then I added some Hard Candy Lip Gloss on top of it in the color Baby Doll. And there you go. Um, so I have to run downstairs and start filming because it is 10 to 11 and I have to pick up Milo at noon. So cross your fingers, I can get these hauls filmed before I need to pick him up because then I can edit them and get at least one of them up tonight. Let's see what I can do. So I'm currently, the lighting, you guys, oh my gosh, like this looks amazing. I look really good right now, sorry. <laughs> I just saw myself in the viewfinder, I'm like this lighting, this lighting, anyway. Um, so I have to stay focused because I got to go pick up Milo in one minute. I'm currently doing my nail polish haul and there's so much. There's so, so much from the beginning of this year. So I just finished part one, which is all of these polishes here. And I'm currently in the process of filming part two, which is this stuff here and then this stuff over here. But I have to stop because I got to go pick up Milo from Park Place. So I have to go ride my bike and hopefully not mess up my makeup or my hair <laughs> and go pick up my son from Park Play. Um, wish me luck. Fast forward like a million hours and uh, here we are. So look at, oh, there's Chips. Where's Chippers? Oh, he doesn't, he's camera shy. What's up Chippers? What are you doing? Nope, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. <laughs> anyway, so it is, quarter to six it's quarter to six and we have had an afternoon I promised Milo we would go to the pool today because we didn't go yesterday and he really wanted to go yesterday and I was just way too tired so we went to the pool and actually I'm really surprised at how well like my makeup held up this is the makeup that I did this morning the only thing that's kind of like gone away is this eyebrow I must have like rubbed this eyebrow in the pool but like I never actually went underwater I just got splashed in the face a couple times but like I think my makeup kind of held up pretty good at the pool today the foundation's pretty much gone but the eye makeup not bad at all he spent a good like two hours at the pool today which was awesome it was a little bit too cold for me honestly like when the wind kicked up it got kind of cold or when the sun was behind a cloud it got a little bit too cold but milo loved it we had a blast um and so now chaz should be home any minute for dinner not quite sure what we're gonna have maybe just like macaroni and cheese because i could totally eat some macaroni and cheese right now 
That sounds so good. Feeling really good today. Like I've had an amazing amount of energy today. Feeling really, really good. Um, I've been eating consistently and I think that's been helping. Like I've been eating every like two to three hours, which I think has helped a lot. And I've been drinking a ton of water today. Um, I think I've had like five or six of my like, where's my bottle? Oh, I didn't bring it in here, but like I have like a water bottle and I've had like five or six of them today and I feel really good. I just feel really happy. I'm just feeling a good, in a good mood. I'm going to get to work on my video editing for tomorrow and also just rest because I'm a little bit, a little bit tie tie. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, super dehydrated this morning. <gasps> But it is Thursday, and um, I had like, oh, here comes Chips. Do you see him? Chippers, I see you. Do you see him over there? Where are you, babies? I see you. Come here. Come see mama. Come here. Nope. <laughs> Such a stubborn little man. Today is Thursday, and uh, yeah, I feel really good. I had a really good sleep last night. I would think I went to bed like at... 9 30 or so like i went to bed super early last night um and i woke up like at six but i was like yeah let's do this as far as goals for today i really want to get this haul finished and hopefully posted today and then part two will be posted on friday so that means i have to export all of my footage from yesterday and i have to record all the bottle shots hopefully i will make some serious progress before it's time to pick up milo from summer camp <laughs> It is many hours later. It has turned into quite the soggy day. So Milo has been inside most of the day and we've just kind of been staying close to home because you know, nobody wants to go out in the rain. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to catch up on a summer challenge. So I am Mormon, I'm LDS and in my church, there are, um, and I think I've explained this before, but I know I have like some new subscribers so I thought I'd explain this over again. But we have in our church like youth groups. So I volunteer as one of the leaders of the youth groups, specifically the young girls. So between the ages of like 13 to like 18 or 12, 12 and 18, um, I am like one of their leaders, like one of their mentors. So I help teach lessons, I help plan uh, midweek activities, uh, summer things, things like that. Like that camp thing that was earlier that's going on this week, I'm technically supposed to be there, but I'm not because I'm pregnant. That's just another little facet of who I am. And so um, this summer in our youth group for the girls, we're doing a challenge where we are reading the Book of Mormon, which for those of you that may not know, it is another testament of Jesus Christ. It's considered holy scripture. If you want to learn more about it, you can visit lds.org and of course they'll have plenty of information down there if you so desire. But we study it just as you would the, whole, the Holy Bible. So this summer we challenged the girls to read the entire Book of Mormon over the course of the summer. So basically in three months. Since I am a leader in this group, I'm like, well, I should be doing it too. I am very behind. <laughs> like super behind. Um, like today is the 19th and we are supposed to be at page 267 in the Book of Mormon. And currently I am on page 228. <laughs> so I am like super behind. So I've spent the last hour, hour and a half uh, trying to catch up. And I need to catch up a whole lot, not only because like I need to, but I'm teaching the lesson on Sunday and the lesson um, I'm teaching on Sunday is about this scripture challenge. So we're trying to like keep the girls motivated. We want to ask them like, how's it going? What problems have you seen? Like as far as like getting your scripture reading done every day, where are you in the, in the book of Mormon? Like what something that has really stood out to you lately? Like what, how's it been going? Like just things like that. And so of course I'm like, well, you gotta practice what you preach. So I'm trying to catch up before Sunday. <laughs> I saw this thing on Pinterest, which I thought was the coolest thing with a scripture study where you can get like a, you print out a PDF of the scriptures with a wide margin. So you can write notes in the margins 
which is like perfect. I have this gigantic, huge edition of the Book of Mormon with super, super wide margins. And I'm making like tons and tons of notes um, as I'm reading. And it's intense and it's enduring and it definitely makes it a lot, it takes it a lot longer than just like reading it. But for me, it's more engaging. It's more engaging. Anyway, I don't wanna get too in depth with this stuff because I don't know how interesting other people may find this, um, but this is what I've been doing. So I'm just, I'm sharing it. Um, but I did wanna share some of the fun things that I use while I do my scripture study because I love pens. I love pens. I love pencils. I love office supplies. First and foremost is this thing. I love this thing. This is like a Pentel, like mechanical pencil, but it's got like a bajillion lead colors in here. I think it's like eight different colors. This thing is magical. If you are like a college student and you need to do lots of reading or highlighting or no, no, a scripture study, this thing is fantastic. So you turn this little thing, this little orange dealio to like select your lead color and then boom, you got pink. Or if you decide, oh no, I need to switch to like blue, boom, you got blue. It's the coolest thing in the entire world. The other thing that I'm just like, this is amazing, are these stencils that I found on uh, I'm pretty sure I found them on Amazon and I think they were mostly like advertised for bullet journaling But I have been loving them for my scripture study because they have all these different shapes in these stencils Like they have just like regular like geometric patterns They have like these like banners and stuff This one is my personal favorite. I really like using this one a lot with like these little thought bubbles and stuff Super duper cute and there's just all these different kinds in this set, and I think there were like 20 of them that just have an amazing amount of different icons, oopsie, and different things that you can use. Again, like some of this is obvious, like, okay, that's definitely for a bullet journal. But some of these other things, I feel like, no, you can use this for almost anything, for like even just regular journaling, or like I said, like study for scriptures or like school or whatever. I just think it's so cute. And like I said, there's like tons more, like I can't even show them all to you. There's just so, so many of them. They're not super durable, um, so I definitely wouldn't recommend like throwing them in a backpack. I feel like they would probably get banged up pretty bad inside of a backpack if they weren't in some sort of protection thingy majigger, but I love them. I absolutely adore them. Greetings from the future. So I just wanted to put in a little bit of a disclaimer before we start in on Friday because things get emotional on Friday. And I wanted to say something before we get into the emotional bits because I think it's important. I think it's important. So sometimes I feel like, and I fear like on social media, there is too much of a focus on only grabbing the best moments, only grabbing the happy times, only grabbing the perfect parts of your life that you really wanna highlight. And I try to be honest and true and just kind of like, this is my life. And so that's why I'm leaving in what happened on Friday and uh, everything's okay, everything is fine. I'm very pregnant. <laughs> I'm extremely emotional and hormonal. Um, and so we're gonna play out Friday and then we'll talk about how everything is fine. Everything is fine. So bring on the overly emotional sobbing Juanita at the kitchen table. I don't even, this is not how I wanted to start today. You know, I posted my weekly vlog last week and I was talking about, you know, my, my friends that had come to visit me and they, they watched that vlog and um, they were really offended by it. They were really upset with the things that I said, that I was tired and it, it, at least for them, it, it, it seemed that I wasn't happy that they were there that I only had negative things to say about their visit, and that's not true at all. Oh, I was so happy and so excited for them to come and stay with us, and it just breaks my heart to think that they feel like I wasn't excited or happy or grateful for them coming. She sent me an email that really, that really made me notice that I need to be more careful about what I say especially on here because she made up a really brought up a really good point she's like you know you've broadcasted this out to the world 
And I'm like, no, you're right. Like I did, I did it wrong. And I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. That was not my intention. Like we had so much fun and it was exactly what I needed as far as a visit goes. And, and I feel bad that like, I made them feel in any way, shape or form that they were not wanted or that they were an inconvenience. I am just, I'm so grateful for their visit. They, they, they took us out for dinner and, and they were very thoughtful and respectful of like me being pregnant and wanting to help out as much as they could. And I did mention those things. I did, I mentioned them, but I also revealed personal information about them in the same sentence and I couldn't, I couldn't edit it in a way that respected their, their privacy, but also allowed me to keep the positive. Looking back on it and watching it again, I realized that yes, all I had to say were negative things about the visit. That's not fair to them. That's not fair to the effort and the consideration and the service that they gave while they were here with me and my family. I just need to find a way to make it right. And unfortunately, I'm not gonna feel better until I can. So today is Saturday and I want to update what happened yesterday. So, as you can surmise between the sobbing and the sniffling and the snot, in last week's vlog, I had mentioned how we had had some friends come and stay with us. It, while recording that video, I had talked about like, you know, the positive things of like them being here and then also like, well now that the house is messy and I'm tired and I'm exhausted and blah -de blah And so in the editing process, I had to edit out many of the positive things that I had said about their visit. Because in the same breath, which I think I mentioned in yesterday's segment, in the same breath, I had mentioned like personal information about them. And so when I edited it down, it didn't make any sense. Like it was just kind of rough. So I just kind of edited those parts out. Now, unfortunately in doing that, I didn't realize that I had only left negative comments about my friend's visit to with a, when they came to stay with us. And so when my friends watched that vlog, all I had to say were negative things, talking about how stressed I was or how messy the house is now or you know what have you and they were really hurt by it because it felt like i wasn't um that i really didn't enjoy their visit at all which was not true at all not true at all but that was what was portrayed in the vlog i did upset my friend i upset her very much and that was not fair i should have been more sensitive to her perspective of what i was portraying I should have been a little bit more conscious of what I was saying and a little bit more clearer about, you know, what I was feeling and like I had a good time and it was it was a perfect visit like what I said yesterday. Um it, it I just needed to be more careful. You know, I finally did get in contact with her. We finally talked it out. We worked through it and now everything's fine. We're good. We're fine. So I did delete the video and I re-edited it. So I feel like it was a really good lesson to me about being careful about what I say. Um, Cause I feel like, you know, with these vlogs, I'm being super candid because most of the time it's just me and a camera. And so I can just like blah, 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 blah. And then I put it up on the internet and it's done. But I forget that like, no, people are watching this. <laughs> like people are watching this. And, and if I'm saying harsh things about people that I care about, I just need to be careful. I just need to be careful. And so while I do view these vlogs as like a daily diary, I still need to be sensitive to people's feelings. Like people have feelings and I need to be mindful about that. And and looking back on the video, I totally understand what she sees. Um, while she, when I first like read her emails, I'm like, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know what I did wrong. I didn't, I didn't call you any names. Like, I don't know what I did. And then I went back and watched it. And I'm like, oh no, you're right. Like I only had negative things to say and I'm broadcasting this out to the entire world. Like, yes, I was tired. Yes, I was stressed out, but who wouldn't be stressed out? Like, you know, visitors are stressful. <laughs> Let's just face it there. They can be stressful, but that doesn't overshadow and that doesn't outshine the fact that it was a fantastic visit and I never said that and I truly feel bad and I apologize to my friend profusely because I'm just like 
I'm an idiot. Like I just didn't think, I just didn't think. Didn't even catch it. It was just, it was just bad. It was a big mistake and it was my bad and I'm trying to fix it and I think I'm doing a good job doing so. Um, because you know, we're, we're fine. Like I said, we're good. We're back to where we were. And if anything, I think we're stronger because we've learned now that we can be honest with each other. And I feel like that is the sign of a true friendship, a true, like honest to goodness, bosom buddies. You're going to get through anything. If you feel confident and comfortable enough to approach your friend and say, Hey, listen, what you did hurt my feelings and that you guys are able to work through it and get past it. I feel like that is the sign of a really amazing friendship. Something that is worth fighting for, something that is worth m going through the muck and going through the murk. And sometimes, yeah, it's a little bit sticky to get through it because you've known each other for so long. But if you can get through it, like that's the best part. Like then, then I feel like you guys can get through almost anything. And so while it was very hurtful and it was very painful and I felt so guilty and I felt so bad about what I had done to my friend, I feel like we're stronger than ever. Again, I'm only speaking for me. I can't speak for her, but for me, it's like, nope, I know that now anytime I have, not saying that like we always have issues, but like I know I can just be myself. I feel so much better about it, especially since I, you know, was able to fully apologize and make it better and fully hear her out and, and explain what exactly had happened and why it ended up being that way. And yeah, it just, it was good. It was all good, all better. I had the best sleep of my life <laughs> because I basically had spent the entire day yesterday crying. <laughs> and I was like super dehydrated when I woke up this morning. Um, I think because I was just crying so much, which was fine. Like again, I'm pregnant, so I feel like you know, I'll play the pregnancy card on that one. Everything is good. Everything is fine. Definitely learn some lessons and, you know, learning from your mistakes is important. And I feel like, I feel like I'm okay. So with that in mind, let's catch you up on what happened today. So today I have been hightailing it. I'm putting my butt in full gear and trying to get like everything done that I should have done yesterday. First and foremost, I had to edit my haul part two video and then I re-edited the weekly vlog from last week. I finished up the rest of the top shelf neon release that's gonna happen next week. So I have to work on that Sunday school lesson. I think I had mentioned it earlier this week when I was talking about scripture study and sharing like my process that I have the lesson on Sunday and I haven't started working on it yet. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for this lesson and then I'll probably check back in with you after that. Or a video. <laughs> okay. Also, it's like 7.30, Sunday night. I'm already in my jammy jams. Saturday was crazy. I did so much work on Saturday. Um, I had to work on my Sunday school lesson, which took a little bit longer than expected because I had to catch up on that reading. Remember that reading I was telling you about where I had to be at a certain page in the scriptures? Yeah, I ended up like finishing it up yesterday. Like I, I started at like 6.30 at night yesterday and I was reading straight until like 10 30 10 45 last night so i finished the reading like i i'm where i'm supposed to be now i'm all caught up which was awesome and my lesson went really really well today the girls i think got really inspired and we had lots of fun um like talking about scripture study and stuff and like just how important it is so it was it was a good day however there have been a large amount of packages that I have received since Friday, because Friday, you know, we had that little hiccup on Friday. I have some stuff delivered on Saturday too. So I thought for Sunday, we will wrap up the, this weekly vlog by talking about all the fun things I have per I've received in the mail over the past couple of days. So the first thing is Posh Pickup. This is from Level Up Lacquer. This is Fools, Idiots, Imbeciles 2.0. And I can't remember the original um, Polish pickup that this was in, 
maybe something I don't think maybe it was this year I can't remember. it was the fandom I think it was the fandom collection um, and I remember seeing it thinking like oh that's super cute but I never got it and um, I regretted not getting it and luckily it came back for the rewind month so I picked it up it is a black jelly with um, matte glitters that are like blue and purple and green and there's some metallic glitter in there too all in a black jelly I'm kind of excited about it. And it came with a free polish. This is must be like a prototype from Level Up because it's like a gold holographic kind of foily polish. The hollow is very, very subtle, but it's in there. Um, and it doesn't have a name. So I don't know, I think it might be just a prototype or just a free polish for ordering. I have no idea. And then I got an order from um, Noodles Nails because Obviously, once they're like Pringles, once you start, you can't stop. There was a a, a new like summer Crelly on her website. Um, this one's called Fireflies and Summer Skies, and it's very similar to Beach Please. It is another like neon matte glitter mixture Crelly polish, but there's gray in here too, and a little bit of hollow. So, whereas Beach Please is just matte glitter and nothing else. So I kind of like the, the variation on this one, so I had to pick it up. And of course, I wanted to pick up um, a little extra something too. This is Under the Sea, which is very purpley. Um, in person it looks more blue on camera which is very odd but it is very purpley and it's got some um, flakies in there it's kind of in a jelly so you'll have to build it up and make it look gorgeous on your nail I'm really excited about this one and then I have new releases from Colores de Carol so I'm gonna put you guys down over here so this is the Queens of the Sea collection from Colores de Carol and it will be going live on July 27th at 9 a.m. Um, and so they're like super, like beautiful, jewel toned, uh, super sparkly, like ultra shimmery polishes with like flakies in there and some hollow and they're absolutely stunning. So there was Cor Coralie, I think that's how you say it. And it's the ruby red one, super pretty. This one looks amazing. This one is Tempest and it's a silver but there's some flakies in there. Like, do you see those flakies at the bottom that are kind of iridescent and purpley? Very nice. Mir Miramar, Miramar, I think. And it's a really beautiful, gorgeous, deep purple. Little kisses of hollow in there. That's really pretty. This sapphire, oh, look at this blue one. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, this one's called Pacifica. This black one is really, really shiny. Look how shiny that is. This one is Perla. And then this green emerald. Again, like ultra like shiny. Like there's some real sparkliness happening in here without it being like glitzy. Like, you know, without like hollow. It's very interesting. This one is Serenity. Yeah, Serenity. And then this last one is like a chameleon. It's got a little bit of some multichromeness happening in there, but it's like bronzy and coppery. Oh, that is so pretty. This one is Remora. Ooh, I like the name of that one. I just really love like these. This um, formula is so beautiful. I love it. So sparkly. That's gonna look so good on the nails. Like, oh, I can't wait. Can't wait to try that one out. And then I have some orders that came in from Amazon. But before I open them, I just wanna let you guys know that I want to start doing like those super glitzy, glammy, like rhinestone nails. I've been seeing a lot of them on Instagram lately and I've been watching a lot of tutorials online lately with like acrylics and like gel nails and I kind of want to try it out. So I actually have like some stuff that I ordered like maybe a week ago that maybe I'll share in the next vlog or I'll share it tomorrow which unfortunately with the next vlog, vlog for you guys. But I want to start playing with like like building nails like using nail forms and like building up nails either with acrylic or gel and so I have some supplies but then I had more fun buying all of like the rhinestones and like the studs and stuff that go on top of the nails because I really really want to try it out I feel like that's just the next step right because I'm already in love with high glitz high glam polishes so 
what's what's wrong with adding a couple of rhinestones and gems on there too, right? I feel like it's a natural progression. So I had two orders come in from Amazon yesterday of some rhinestones and charms that I bought. Okay, first off, do they need to put it in such a giant bag? Like, doesn't need to be in this big of a mailer. Especially when it's only like four things. This bag, I have these like, I think they call them rhombuses. Yeah, they're called rhombuses. And they're just really beautiful, kind of color shifty uh, rhinestones that are in like oval shaped. I'm really excited. I've seen people do like flowers with these that look absolutely gorgeous. I also got these little gold geometric shapes with little different gems and um, rhinestones, but they have like little gems and stuff in them. I don't think you're, yeah, you can kind of see it. And then I got these cute little bunnies that have gems and stuff on them. I don't know if you'll be able to, you can kind of see it right there, they're kind of bunnies. I got these in gold and in silver. So the silver ones, basically the same thing, but they've got like different colored gems. So cute. And then I had another one show up and I'm pretty sure I know what's in this one. Um, it should be just one set and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So, okay, so then these ones are like enormous. They're so big, but they're like gigantic white stones in like silver inlays that have like little designs around them. They look so pretty. Can you see this? Like just look how sparkly they are. And they've got like, some of them have rhinestones like surrounding them and they're curved so they'll fit against your nail better. Those are so pretty. And then they came with a set of colored stones too that are in the same kind of silver inlays with rhinestones surrounding them. I'm so excited. I can't wait to play with them and like just add them to my nails and make them extra sparkly. I know it's probably gonna be extra annoying because they'll get caught on stuff, but I can, I keep seeing these Instagram manicures with these like stones and rhinestones and I'm like, I gotta do this. I gotta try it at least once. Um, and then I just remembered there is one more package that I got from Zoya. It's PR from Zoya. It's their new fall set which i know jody and phoebe have already done reviews on them but i just got my set of them so let's go open it up i'm sure you've already seen the zoya fall but let's take a look at it anyway i've ordered from zoya in the past and normally when you buy their polishes they come in like packaging that's like half this size like they split it in half but with the pr samples they keep it in one big thing which is really cool but like takes up a lot of space. Um, so this is the fall set. Um, I think it's called Element. Okay, opening it. Oh, there goes the card. Ooh, look at that. I can't even get the whole thing in there. That is super pretty. And it's kind of hard to see because it's a really dark, dark purple set, but it looks amazing. I really loved their fall collection last year. Their set of like the rosy mauves and pinks. And this is definitely still playing a little bit on the, that rosy side, but it's got more purples, which is a really good thing. The one that sticks out to me right away is this one right here. This is uh, Layton, I think that's how you say it. And it's a black and purple. Love it. I love black and purples. It's like a really, really deep, deep black cherry purple. Ooh, these are real nice. I'm kind of feeling like these might be repeat shades from last fall, but we'll have to check and see. But yeah, super exciting. Mm, love it. Absolutely love it. All right, well, thank you so much for spending this week with me. Sorry it was kind of a roller coaster of emotions, but like I said before, I feel like it's important and it's life and we all got through it, right? We all got through it. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I will definitely see you guys in the next vlog. Until then, bye.